Hello and welcome to Chapter 3B of the WordPress for Beginners 2015 tutorial series. In this video, we are going to explore the Media Library. The Media Library is where WordPress keeps all the files you have uploaded. To access the Media Library, simply click Media from the left-hand navigation. This is the Media Library screen. Depending on your preferences, you can choose List View or Grid View, which is the display mode we are currently in. I'm going to switch to List View. In the Screen Options tab, you can choose which columns you'd like to see, as well as changing the number of media items displayed on each page of the Media Library. If you have a large number of media items, you have the option of narrowing down the list of items by filtering by upload date or media type. Any media type not directly attached to a post or page will show under Unattached. After you've chosen the preferred parameters, hit Filter to narrow down your list. You can also search through the list by using the search function on the top right. Similar to posts and pages, when you hover over an item, additional options will be displayed that allows you to edit, delete, or view the media. To upload media into the media library, click Add New. Navigate to the file you want to upload, select the file, and then click Open. Your file will now be uploaded. If you're having trouble with the multi-file uploader, you can use the browser uploader instead. Simply choose the file you'd like to upload, click Open, and then click Upload. You can switch between the browser uploader and the multi-file uploader by clicking on these two links. Let's go back to the library and edit the PDF we uploaded in the last video. In this screen, we are able to edit the title, add a caption, and description. Description of a media item will display when the attachment page for the media is viewed. Click Update to save changes. Go back to the media library, this time we are going to edit an image. When we edit images in the media library, we can also make minor adjustments in the image editor. We'll update the metadata for this image file, but before clicking on Update, we'll open the image editor by clicking Edit Image. This is the WordPress image editor, and it should look fairly familiar to you, as we have learnt about the image editor in a previous video. Just like before, we can crop, rotate, or flip an image. We can also undo or redo any changes. You can scale an image proportionately by entering a number into either of these boxes and WordPress will automatically adjust the other value for you. You can also specify the crop selection aspect ratio and then hold down the shift key while dragging over the image. Make any additional adjustments using the selection handle and when you're happy with your selection, choose whether you'd like the changes to apply to or image sizes, thumbnail or all sizes except thumbnail. Click on the crop icon to finish the edit, then click on save to apply changes. When you're happy with both the metadata and image, click update. If you made any errors with the edit, you can restore the image to its original state by going into the image editor again and then clicking restore image. Remember to click on update once you've restored the image. Keep in mind you're not limited to uploading images and PDF files. You can upload videos, audio, Microsoft Office documents, and more. Next, we'll move on to learning about widgets. 